Well, here we are this week then at Westfield Shooting Ground for the Troy Foods Fit Ask. This fantastic 150 target course consisting of six Fit Ask layouts, obviously slightly different to sporting. Really good challenging targets, but fair targets as well. Fantastic event and really let's enjoy that coverage now. The Super 8 final, Steve is going to run over four hoops. Big names are in this one as well, but any of this eight could win this one. So when we get down to that final, it's going to be very tense. Really great for the spectators as well to see who will win the Troy Foods Fit Ask for 2015. Well, the final preparations are underway with Steve Lovett and Jamie Peckham from Promatic. Promatic have supported this event as they do with many others throughout the year. And the feedback over the last four days, all being consistent targets, all presented on each stand over the last four days. Real testament to how good those machines are. Certainly Steve put on some really good targets, 150 birds on each day, remember. And again, there was Jamie as well helping out. But here they are just putting together this Super 8 final. Steve just got his notes there as well, knows what he wants to put on, which is great. Have got a very strong final here. Eight fantastic finalists. Steve Brightwell. Ben Husway, Richard Folds, Henry Arnold, George Digweed, Stuart Cumming, Adam Cork, and Chris Daniels. Again, looking at Stuart. Stuart got up early hours of this morning to drive back down. He qualified on Thursday in the rain. Again, we've got Ben Husway. Ben, very much a fit-ass specialist. Henry Arnold. Again, Henry, very much a fit-ass shooter. We see him on the circuit all of the time. Then Adam Cork. Chris Daniels. Remember with Chris, two years ago, won the white gold here. Again, very consistent. Richard Folds. Again, we know Richard, Olympic gold medalist from Sydney. He's come and shot this, and he's looking in good form again. There with his Caesar Garini. And also then with George as well. George all-round specialist again, and then also Steve Brightwell. Well, Steve, and it'll be very interesting to see how he does today. So the format now is going to be 30 birds over four stands on this final. So four hoops. So they shoot in a hoop. There's no cages. Gives them that room to move a little bit. And remembering again with fit ask, it's from a gun down position, and that gun can't move until the target is visible. But again, it will be singles followed by the pairs on the rotations as well. Well, coming into this last stand here at the Troy Foods Fit Ask for 2015. The shooters now are going to be shooting their single targets. They've got four single targets. Then they'll be onto their two pairs to finish. Remembering now, looking at this, Richard's on for a possible 29 out of 30. Stuart's on for a 30. He could straight this. He could straight this whole layout. Henry on for a 24. George on for a 28. Adam again, Adam could straight this as well. He is potentially on for a 30 straight. Chris Daniels on for a 29. Ben Husswaite for a 27. And Steve Brightwell for a 28. It really is very close between all these great shooters. So here we come now to the final pairs. We're just joining this now with Richard Folds about to have his pairs. Steve Brightwell has just gone before him. Steve's just fallen away. Steve isn't going to win this, but can Richard put a good score into finish? Again, just struggled a little bit on one or two targets here, but let's see who's going to come through to win. Richard getting himself steady. Hits the first. Missed the second, missed the second. Be really disappointed to miss that going away target. Remember Richard, a former gold medalist in double trap, but also a very accomplished fit ask and sporting shot. Here he is now on his last pair. This is off the tower, probably 50 yards away, maybe maybe 40 to 50 yards away this. Oh, we missed that first one. Hit the second one though, he'll be disappointed, but that is a big target coming off there. Now, all eyes will be on Stuart. It hits his first and his second. Lovely, be really pleased with that pair. That's well, well shot. Remember, Stuart came down from Aberdeen early hours of this morning. He qualified on Thursday in the rain. Here he is with his Kriegoff parkours. Now, Raphael pair off this tower. So basically a pair that continues to be following. 
Okay, so not a report pair. Just missed that last one. Last one missed it for a straight, but he shot a 29. Looks very happy with that though, doesn't he? Here's Henry now. Henry, what a good finish here. Just fell away a little bit there. Great though to get that pair. Be pleased with that. Now onto this Raphael pair on the top. Here we are, back to this tower. Big tower bird coming off here. Promatic traps throwing beautiful targets over these last four days. Oh, Henry would be disappointed. Missed his last pair. But he's done well. Still got a smile on his face. Here's George now. George put a little bit of pressure on. Be too much too late if he does. Here he is now with his Parazzi and game ball combination. First bird. Oh, right in the middle of that one. And the second one. Nice tidy ones there. And remember with Fitas, you're all shooting it from gun down. You can just see that Haywood's guns on George's top. So you start from. It's the first of the Raphael pair. And the second. That's good shooting from George. Nice applause there from the crowd that have stayed on. Just see that sun setting in the background. Now we're on to Adam. Remember, Adam was on for a straight. Just fell away a little bit in his singles. It's the first. Oh, he'd be disappointed though. Missed that second one. Yeah, remember. Looking to just finish on a good score now. This is first. And this is his second. That is a tough bird though, that one coming off the tower. Okay, good shooting from Adam. He wanted to do better. And Chris Daniels. Chris is not going to straight this. Best he can end up now with a 29. He hits all of his targets. This is first of the pair. And his second. That's good. This could put him in a position. This could put him in for second, I think. Still all to go for, though. See how he goes with this Raphael pair coming off the tower. Oh. A beautiful scene, that is. There we go. Look at that bird hit. Uh. And second. Oh, well shot there. Can't underestimate how hard that bird is coming off that tower. And Chris will be really pleased with that. Likes Westfield. Remember, he won the white gold a couple of years ago. With ben Husway. Done well there. It's his pair. He'll be pleased. Ben's coming into a bit more of a form. Probably not his best year last year. Be looking to do better this year. And on the last one. His first. Can he hit the second? Oh, he just misses that one second. Ah well. Another day got gone though. But uh, Ben shot well as well. But let's just get these scores now with Steve Lovett. In second place on 28 is Chris Daniels. And the winner on 29, Stuart Cummings. Oh, well, there we go. All the confirmation we needed. Fantastic shooting from Stuart Cummings. And let's now just grab those moments now with Stuart and ask him a little bit more. Stuart, when you qualified, it was pouring with rain. Beautiful sunny evening here in the Cotswolds. How does it feel to have won the Troy Foods Fitas? Oh, I'm absolutely delighted. Delighted. It's uh, it's been a long long week waiting to come back. Been as Aberdeen last night. Uh, we got home at 11:30. Left this morning, six-hour drive. So it's been well worth it. Well worth it. And in, ter in terms of that, I mean, it's been a fantastic competition. Everybody's just remarked on how good the targets have been. Targets have been, they were very consistent, considering the different weather conditions. Quite a bit of wind today, we shot in torrential rain. I think possibly I had an advantage coming from Scotland. And in terms of that, though, this, this, this format with, with eight of you coming through, good format, though, isn't it? Very good. Uh, you're shooting the best, the best in the world, some of these guys. So quite a challenge for me. Um, but I'm really, really happy, really happy. And again, you know, just one final thing. I mean, Steve puts on some fair targets, but this su this sort of Super 8 final, though, there were some challenging targets, but you just had to have your mind set on it all the time, didn't you? Yeah, real real big birds, but they broke well. Uh, nothing, no eyesight test, everything's showing its, its underside or its top side. Uh, you know, half choke for everything, perfect. Well, I know you want to go and celebrate now, but well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Steve, what a Super 8 final that was. I mean, it was great. Thrilling, wasn't it? Absolutely brilliant, Phil. Um, to be honest, the four days have been absolutely phenomenal. Better than I could ever imagine, to be fair. And the final, yeah, I've made it slightly different. They weren't all silly hard targets. Put a few tricky little combinations in. Worked really well. Really, really pleased with that. Certainly with the format, you know, two winners going through from each day. I mean, that gave people who stayed behind to watch the opportunity to see some of the world's best, didn't it? Definitely. And, you know, I said from day one that 140 was going to take some beating. And you look at the scoreboard, we've had the world's best here in Fitask, and it's been phenomenal. Absolutely brilliant. 
Yeah. And again, you know, in terms of the score, you know, Thursday it was pouring down with rain. You know, we covered it on Thursday, and then we were here for the other few days as well. Sunshine's come out, but I mean, Stuart Cummings. I mean, he left Aberdeen this morning to come down here. And phenomenal, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. Fair dues to Stuart. He pulled out of a fit shoot in Scotland. It's took him five and a half hours to get here. Five and a half hours to get back, but brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I know you've got to get the prize given now. Alison's shouting behind you, so you've got to be obeyed. So well done, though, Steve, on a great Thank event. Thank you, Phil. Thank Thanks you very, very much. much. Cheers.